Hi, my name is Abby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove an NG tube. So first you want to check the medical record um, for the order to take out the NG tube. You want to um, also check to see if your patient is on any precautions, which our patient isn't, so we don't need any PPE. We're going to perform hand hygiene. Um, we're going to enter the room, ID the patient, what is your name and date of birth, it matches the wristband. So then we're going to explain the procedure. So basically I'm going to unattach this from suction, clamp the tube off, put in 10 milliliters of water, clamp the tube off again, and then we're going to have you hold your breath while I pull, remove the um, NG tube from your esophagus. So then I'm going to perform an abdominal assessment, starting with inspection, um, auscultation, percussion and palpation and after I've done that then I'm going to close actually I'm going to close the curtains before I do an abdominal assessment um, to provide privacy I'm going to raise the bed to a comfortable working height which is elbow height I'm also going to raise the head of the bed to Fowler's position which is 30 to 45 degrees actually yeah I'm going to uncover the patient just a little bit, place the drape over them because they might gag a little bit when this is coming out, have the bowl next to them, and then I would put on clean gloves. Discontinue suction. So I stopped the suction. I would take it off, obviously. Clamping the tube so I don't spill stomach juices everywhere. And then I would detach the tube from the patient's gown. And then I would flush this with 10 milliliters of water. On clamping it, flush it with 10 milliliters of water. Reclamp it, and then I would have I remove all this tape. Sorry. And then I'd have the patient hold their breath or take a deep breath and hold it while I just quickly removed it, and then I'd coil it up. I would discard it per facil facility policy, <laughs> and then so I then I would remove my gloves, perform hand hygiene. I would offer oral care if they wanted it, which this patient does not. I get rid of all my supplies, perform hand hygiene again. I would lower the bed the head of the bed. Obviously I should have not looked over the side rail yet again. I would replace the side rail, lower the bed to the lowest working position. And then I would put on clean gloves and I would mark on the container what the output was for suction. I would chart that and then I would get rid of this per facility policy. Um, and then I would remove my gloves, remove any PPE if I had any on, give, or before doing that, I'd remove my gloves, perform hand hygiene, um, give the patient their call bell, ask them if they need to use the restroom, whether they were in a comfortable position. I'd remove my PPE and perform hand hygiene again. 